When we've been working in the previous videos, what we've been doing is starting with dy by dx and then integrating to get y equals. Okay, so this is the process that we've been looking at. Now, if I want to just integrate an expression or integrate a function, okay, then I don't necessarily have to have it dy by dx equals. So in this video, I want to introduce you to uh, some new notation uh, that tells us to integrate. So if, for example, I want to integrate um, 4x plus 3, okay, then the way to tell me to integrate it is to put an integration symbol to the left hand side of it. So this elongated s uh, is the integration symbol. It's kind of like a summing symbol, okay? Once you start to look at the mechanics behind um, integration, then that will make uh, a little bit more sense. But what this is telling me is to integrate 4x plus 3, and I also need to be told uh, what the variable is, okay? What am I integrating it with respect to? And I integrate it with respect to x, and I write it as dx, okay? Now, this may seem a trifle strange, but essentially what needs to be made clear is that these two parts, the integral sign and the dx, are effectively bookends, okay? They uh, go either side of the function that you are integrating. And you must have both. You can't um, not have the dx, for example, okay? So you shouldn't write that. And you definitely shouldn't write uh, 4x plus 3 dx, okay? Because it, it, either one of those are meaningless. So. These are bookends that are there to tell me that I'm integrating 4x plus 3 with respect to x. Okay? Now, the reason why uh, we have this with respect to x is because I could effectively have another letter in there. Okay? In which case, I need to be told which one I'm integrating by. Am I integrating with respect to x or am I integrating with respect to y? Now, in none of the examples that we look at at this stage, at this level, do we look at uh, more than one variable being there, OK? So um, it seems it may feel a little bit redundant, and that's why you might get into a habit of missing this dx out. But do not, OK? Don't leave it. Now, if I'm going to write that, if that was the question, OK, then it goes in exactly the same process. You add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. The 3 goes to 3x, and we have our constant of integration. OK, and this would be 2x squared plus 3x plus c. Now, this whole thing that we have here is what is called an indefinite integral. OK, an indefinite integral. Now, we are going to meet uh, something called the definite, a definite integral uh, later on. But for the moment, you just want to get used to uh, using this notation.